People are connected to relationship in their past that has occupied their emotions. Those are people that are single but not available emotionally. You've broken up with him. You've broken up with that. But you're still going to check his Instagram page. You're still checking his Facebook page. Although you've broken up literally, your emotion is still tied to the past. Single and unavailable are people that are dating people they do they can't marry. You're here, but you're very involved with this person that cannot marry you. Either because he's married, he's some Eastern state, but you're just there. And these are the older single. Because they've been single for such a long time, they found how to distract themselves with other things. So you will see them at work. They work till 11. They are the one that carries the job as if it's something else. And the reason why is that there's something they're running away for. There's, there's a gap they don't want to fill. And they wonder, why am I single? Listen to me, there's no way you can be noticed. All the places to be emotionally available has been occupied. You found good substitute to occupy it. So we can't find you again. See, when you see people that sleep around, you need to ask them, what are they looking for? Most people that sleep around, girls or guys, are not looking for sex. They're looking for connection. They're looking for someone that will love them. But the expression of that is what? It's sex. And there's that emptiness. I know ladies that date older men. And they can't tell why they're attracted to older men. I will just tell the reason why. Sometimes it's not 100%. 80% of the time, they're looking for your father that was missing. 80%. Not all the time. You're looking for that father that was never there. You, this how it affects you being single. When your mate come, you say, what, what are these small boys? Because in your mind, you think you're looking for love. You're looking for a father. What you call delay may be God preparing you. What you call disappointment can be diversion. And if you don't have the right attitude, instead of you to begin to embrace the lessons of preparation, you will begin to resist it because in your mind, it's the fact that I'm delayed. When Ruth lost the first husband, Mano, what would she have thought? I'm disappointed. Could it be that the real person that would connect her to destiny was Boaz? That Manos was just a turning to get to Boaz. She could have thought for a moment, she could have thought for a moment that, oh my goodness, it's over. Meanwhile, what she called disappointment was a diversion. See, sometimes God knows how to close small doors because of big doors ahead of you. When you think God's diversions are disappointment, you begin to resist it. When you think that God's preparations are delays, you begin to what? Resist it. In life, one of the ways you will help yourself is to give yourself a perspective that helps you. What happens is not as powerful as the perspective you give yourself. A lot of single people will say they are delayed. But sometimes, what you call delayed preparation, the way someone that is delayed, they approach the way they think, the energy they have, is not the same as someone that's what? That is being prepared. Someone that is delayed feels angry, feels bitter, feels with, uh, held back, feels anxious. Someone that is being prepared is excited because he knows that my graduation day is coming. He's really looking forward towards it. Because perspective matters. Emotional baggages, it's something we all grew up with. Everybody has a baggage. And the baggage is in you. But the way you know you have a baggage is this. A baggage begins to create a cycle. It's an emotional issue that begins to affect you as a single person not to marry. And if you're married, it begins to disturb your marriage. So the first emotion is fear. How do you know you have an emotional baggage? I will tell you the fear. You will just have this fear that you just have this fear that cannot make you trust somebody. You have this fear that someone is going to cheat you. You have this fear that someone is going to abuse you. Like, why do you have that? The reason why you have the fear is because there's something what inside you. This is my emotional baggage. You've carried it for so long. You're so used to it. You don't even know you're carrying something. As soon as a guy comes, only wants the sex. Why do you think that way? The reason why you think that's because something has gone wrong on the inside. And unfortunately, because that's how you think, as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. Some of you, because of the fear of poverty, you cannot see men because all you look for are rich people. He's the fear of poverty. So as soon as he comes and he doesn't have a great car, your mind cannot even see him as a potential mate. The fear is that it is on you. It, it disturbs you. When people have emotional baggage, you know what happens to them? They see a cycle. They see the same pattern. They keep attracting heartbreakers. Even when they marry, you know what happens to them? The same thing their boyfriend complains about, their husband complains about, their wife complains about. And the reason why, bring my basket, bring my basket. This is my emotional baggage, bring my basket. The reason why is this? Because you're going to understand a lot right now. You are this basket. All this trash is the emotional baggage. You are this basket. All this trash is what? 
is the emotional baggage. So, once you put the trash can down, what happens after some time? Rats, rodents, flies will go there. Yes or no? Why do they go there? Because of the baggage inside. Listen to me. The reason why you keep attracting rats, rodents as a single person, you keep attracting rats, rodents as a married person, is because of the baggage inside. So guess what single people do? So they leave Chike and think Chike is a problem. And they move to what? They move to John. And when they move to John, the cycle continues because they are just changing location. They've not changed the baggage. And that's why if you want to be honest, the cycles of your singleness are the same. If you want to be honest, even now that you're married, the cycle is still the same. And the reason why is that your thinking is the other person, but there's a baggage you are carrying on the inside. And he said, when I moved to Canada, he said, I'm, I, I don't want to date Nigerian men again. I want to date white people. I want to date white girls. If you like, date Filipinos. You know, as far as you have package, they will treat you what? The same. Because you will keep attracting those things. You keep moving your dustbin. You keep moving your dustbin. You keep moving it. But what is inside the dustbin, you're not treating it. Some of you, you know what it is? The emotional issues that you've been abused, you've been raped. You want to get married, but you can you, but before you get married, we have to deal with that horrible experience of rape. And the rape could have been your dad, it could have been your mom, it could have been someone close to you. But instead of you to deal with it, you keep praying and moving your basket. And God is saying, don't you understand? Before I can give you a partner, I need to heal you. Or else I will give you what? Damage to somebody else. And when I give a damaged person to somebody else, you will damage him. Because that's what hurt people do. Hurt people hurt people. And that's why a lot of marriages are suffering. Where are my plates? Bring my plates for me. When you come to a marriage, you should come with... You should come whole as a plate. You should be single. Single means whole. You should be single whole. You should be single whole. But most people don't come single like that. What do they come? They come half. So, you are half. He is half. He said the two shall become one. Not the two halves shall become one. The current marriage works when two whole people become one. Not when two damaged people become one. The problem is that you are thinking that marriage will fix you. No, marriage only amplifies you. He said two are better than one. That means if, we're, if, if, if you were damaged before, when you are married, you will be what? You will be better damaging. You will be a damaging contractor. A damaging specialist. And I'm saying to you, all of you that are married, even if you're married, it doesn't change anything. You still carry it. You will be in that marriage and you will be so lonely. And your partner will try to do everything to make you happy. And you will think it's your partner's fault. Meanwhile, it's you. Why do I keep attracting people that break my heart? Why is my marriage so sad? You need to sit down and identify the pattern and say, this is wrong. Have you loved someone that it seems like a bottomless pit? No matter what you do, it doesn't reach them. Because there's something wrong. And I'm saying so because the first thing you have to do today is to identify the pattern. Some of you, you know the challenge? You're trying so hard not to be like your dad. Not to be like your mom. And that's what you're becoming like. You saw how your mom was maltreated because she had no finance. You know, one lady in the choir shared in the other service, he said that I saw how my father abused my mom because she had no finance. He said, I made up my mind. I will have my source of income. You get into a marriage. The man says, don't work for two years. Get pregnant. He said, never, never. You, I know what you want to do. He has nothing. You are just reacting from your past. You are the kind of person that puts mileage on when your husband goes because your father was a cheater. So you say, honey, you go. He said, how do you know? Shabby, your driving is just 25 kilometers. You went today, it's 32. And 32 means that that's your friend that is a girl. That's a sell to our house. And the reason, see, there's, you, be, you start calling problems to your marriage. You start calling what does not exist. So, to you, all the girls, all they want is sex. See, what did that? What happened to you? Where did you grow up? Who told you that? All the girls want is money. What happened to you? There's this fear you have. Some of you, you're just very so hard. 
Where did this come from? Jude's very hard. Hey, baby, what? Why are you like that? And some of you, all they have to do is to smile, legs open. Same thing with guys. I saw say guys are emotional. Guys are more emotional, but they hide it. You know how, you know, when they manifest it, they will just kill themselves. That's what they do. They will get drunk. Some of you, to detach is a problem. You just can't let go because there's a story within it. You've been left alone for so long, you just can't let go. And the reason why is that there's emotional baggage that you need to take off.